Hello, it's Sonia here with the Pretty Stitch. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so happy to have you here. So today we are going to be making a crochet block. And for this project, I will be using my eye hook or 5.5 millimeter hook. And I am going to be using three colors here and it's worsted weight yarn. So I have a white, a like a rose pink and then just a regular like baby pink color that we're going to be using and I've already made one so here we go here's the one that I've made and I use greens and this is made uh, with a variation of the alpine stitch I'm calling it the alpine crochet block so to get started I am going to be using my whoops all right, my, my balls of yarn are flying all over the place. We got fuzzies. Let's, let's get this taken care of here. So I'm going to be using the white to get started. And this is made in the round. And you might want to use some stitch markers. It's up to you. I will show you how to use them if you want to use stitch markers. So as I said before, this is made in the round. So to get started, we are going to chain four. So I have my four chains here and then we are going to work nine double crochet in that fourth chain from your hook. Now if you do not like this method because we are putting a lot of stitches in that one chain, you can certainly use a magic circle and just make ten double crochet around your magic circle. I'm just not a huge fan of magic circle. I've seen a lot of projects that have come unraveled because of magic circle so if you're really secure with your magic circle then by all means use magic circle but if you're not sure and let's say you were making a whole bunch of these blocks for a blanket then maybe you might want to rethink using magic circle just my two cents there all right so we're going to keep going working our nine double crochet and then that skipped chain three will count as a stitch Okay, so I have my nine double crochet around here and then counting that skipped chain three, we have 10 stitches. So I'm going to join with a slip stitch on top of that first chain three to close up my circle here. And so now round one is complete. We have 10 stitches. So let's begin round two. So we are going to chain three and this will count as a double crochet. So there is our chain three and what we want to do is we are going to work a front post double crochet around the chain three from round one. So we're just working that front post double crochet stitch around that same stitch. So we're going to be increasing for this round. So now we have two stitches in one stitch, a regular double crochet and a front post double crochet. So we're going to repeat that. So our next stitch, we are working a double crochet and we are going to work a front post double crochet around that same stitch. And we're just repeating that around. So we're putting two stitches in one stitch. So they will be a wee bit crowded, but it shouldn't be too bad. So I'm going to keep going here working my two stitches, my double crochet and my front post double crochet and I will meet you back at the end of this round. Okay, so I finished up round two. I have 20 stitches, so to complete the round I am just going to join on top of that first chain three with a slip stitch and now we are ready to begin round three. So for round three we are going to slip stitch in that next stitch and we will chain three. So we want to think of this in two ways. We want to think of it as our stitch pattern, which our stitch pattern is always going to be double crochet, front post double crochet, double crochet, front post double crochet. So you always want to remember that. And for this round, we also want to think of it as a sequence of five because we are going to be starting our corners because we're going to turn this into a block, so into a rectangular shape. So we need to create some corners. So we 
are doing this in a sequence of five and we'll be doing it four times because 20 divided by five is four. So this is our first stitch. This is stitch one. So we're going to work front post double crochet. That will be stitch two. So now for, we are ready for stitch three of our sequence of five. So if we're keeping up with our stitch pattern of double crochet, front post double crochet, then obviously stitch three will need to be a double crochet. But this is also going to be our first corner stitch. So we actually will be putting three stitches in this stitch three here. So I've got my yarn over and I'm going to work a double crochet on top of that stitch. So this is the first part of our corner. Now I'm going to work a front post double crochet around that same stitch. And now to complete the corner, I need to work, because we have fr front post double crochet, so the next stitch will need to be a regular double crochet. Behind that post stitch, I'm just pushing that aside, right back in that same stitch, I am working my double crochet. So here we go, here is our first corner. It's made up of three stitches, so one, two, three. So what you might wanna do is you always wanna keep in mind where your center stitch is. So you might wanna put a stitch marker in that center stitch. So I'm just gonna grab a scrap piece of yarn here and place that stitch marker in that center stitch. So this is our first corner. We will have four. Now we are still working on our sequence of five. So this was stitch three. So now we need to work stitch four of our sequence of five. So this last stitch here is a regular double crochet. So then our next stitch needs to be a front post double crochet for stitch four. And then stitch five is going to be a regular double crochet. So we have completed our first sequence of five here and we are going to be doing four of them. So let's begin the second one. So the second one is going to start off with a front post double crochet. And then we will work a regular single crochet. So now we are at our third stitch. So this was stitch one, this is stitch two. So now to keep with our pattern, we have a regular double crochet. Now we need to work a front post double crochet. This is our second corner. So front post double crochet. And we're working three stitches in this stitch. So now we need to work a regular double crochet in the back there behind that post stitch. And we need to work one more front post double crochet around that same stitch to complete our corner. So if you look at it, it's slightly different than this corner because this corner was regular double crochet, front post double crochet, regular double crochet. The second corner is front post double crochet, double crochet, front post double crochet. Now again, you can mark that middle stitch if you want to with a stitch marker because you're going to need to know where those middle stitches are. So this is our second corner for our block here. So now we need to complete this sequence of five for the second one. So we ended with a front post stitch. So now stitch four is a regular double crochet and stitch five will be a front post double crochet. And we're going to just keep going. Now we need to work our third sequence. So that will be regular single crochet for stitch one, front post double crochet for stitch two. Oops, we got a weird knot in this yarn, so let me fix that. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we'll just add another we'll add the same color. I don't know why it was knotted like that, but I'm not a fan of knots. All right, so now we are ready for our third corner, and this is stitch three. So the third corner is going to be a, starting with a regular double crochet. Let me just grab that yarn to complete the stitch. 
Hopefully you won't have to do this with your yarn. <laughs> and then this is where the magic of weaving ends will come in. All right, so this first stitch is a regular double crochet for our third corner. Now we will work a front post double crochet around that same stitch. And we will go and work a regular double crochet in keeping with our stitch pattern. So post stitches are very sturdy. I'm just pushing that guy aside and popping in my third stitch for my third corner. Now I'm not going to mark this one. Uh, I, I do know where the corners are so I'm not going to mark it. But if you wanted to mark this third corner then you know certainly feel free to do that. Okay so stitch four is going to be a front post double crochet in keeping with our pattern. And stitch five is a regular double crochet. So now we have to complete our final sequence of five here. So stitch one is going to be a front post double crochet. Stitch two is a regular double crochet. Stitch three is going to be front post for the corner, our, our final corner is going to be front post double crochet, double crochet, and one more front post double crochet to complete stitch three. And now we have two more left. So our next stitch is going to be a regular double crochet. Now our last stitch is a front post stitch, but we are going to be working it around that chain three from row two. As I said before, they count as stitches, so let's work a front post double crochet around that chain three. And now I'm going to switch to another color. So I'm using my light pink here. Now you don't have to change colors, or you can change colors, um, you know, in a different variation. It's up to you. If you had like some pretty ombre yarn, that would be really nice, and you wouldn't need to change, change colors. But we are changing colors here. So I am going to join with a slip stitch on top of that first chain three to complete round three. Okay, so now we are set. We've completed round three. We have our four corners. So let's begin round four. So round four, we will slip stitch in the next stitch and we are going to chain three. So this is a regular double crochet. So now we're going to keep with our pattern of double crochet, front post double crochet, double crochet, front post double crochet. But we still will need to work our corner stitches. Okay, so our next stitch is a front post double crochet. All right, so now we are at our first corner right here. So I'm gonna pull that stitch marker out. So in keeping with our pattern, we will need to work regular double crochet, front post double crochet, regular double crochet. And now we've created another corner. Again, if you want to, just get your stitch marker and pop that on there. And that will mark your first corner for round four. So we've got our first corner for round four. So in keeping with our pattern, my next stitch is going to be a front post double crochet. And we're just gonna continue in our pattern till we get to our second corner. So now I'm at my second corner. I'm gonna pull that stitch marker out. So this one will be front post double crochet, double crochet, front post double crochet, all in that same stitch. And again, if you would like, you can mark that corner, that center stitch with a stitch marker. I just use scraps of yarn. I mean, if you have actual stitch markers, then you know, by all means, use them. 
Okay, so we're just going to continue in pattern around. So my next stitch is a regular double crochet and then front post double crochet. So I'm going to keep going here working round four in pattern and just make sure you work your corners and I will meet you back. Okay, so I'm almost done round four. So again, we need to remember to work that front post stitch around that last chain three from the previous round. And now I'm ready to join on top of that first chain three to complete round four. So there we go. So let's get ready for round five. So round five is a very easy row. We are going to slip stitch in that next stitch and we are going to chain three. And again, that counts as a double crochet. And we are just going to double crochet all the way around for round five. But you wanna make sure in your corner, so here is my first corner here, you're going to pop in three double crochet. So this is our first stitch. So my next stitch is just double crochet. And I'm already at my first corner. I'm gonna pull that out and I'm going to work three double crochet in that first corner. And the reason why I am throwing in just a regular double crochet round is I find it just helps to break up these post stitches a little bit and helps the pattern, I feel like, to pop a little bit more. When it's just like post stitch, post stitch, post stitch, I feel like they can kind of get lost because I played all around with this when I was coming up with this pattern and I just found that the double crochet round actually I just thought it looked the nicest. So I'm just going to continue to just double crochet all the way around and work five double crochet in each or not five double crochet I'm sorry three double crochet in each corner and you can mark that center stitch if you want to or you don't have to so I will meet you back at the end of round five. All right, so I'm almost done round five here. So you want to remember to work on top of that last chain three there to complete round five. And then join with a slip stitch on top of that first chain three. And then round five is complete. So now we are ready to work round six. We're gonna go back to working post stitches again. So we got a little reprieve there with round five. Now we're gonna jump back in. So we wanna slip stitch in that next stitch and we are going to chain three. And this is in keeping with our pattern. So this is our first double crochet. Our next stitch is a front post double crochet. And now we're back to our first corner. So I did mark that first corner there. So I'm gonna pull that guy out so our next stitch for our first corner will need to be a regular double crochet. So this is actually just a repeat of round four. And you're going to be doing this uh, for rounds six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's regular double crochet, front post double crochet, and then regular double crochet for that first corner. And as I said before, you can just mark that center stitch and then we're just going to keep in with our pattern here so our next stitch will be a front post stitch so I'm just going to repeat this all the way around working my corner stitches so you are going to repeat round four for round six seven eight and nine so this is our post stitch section so I will meet you back at the end of round nine. Okay, so I have finished up round nine. I'm just going to join on top of my first chain three. And you can see I changed to another color here. I think it looks really pretty. Okay, so we have one more round to go, round 10. I'm just gonna slip stitch in that next stitch and chain three. And round 10 is going to be a repeat of round five. So we are just doing a double crochet round and each of our corners we will work three double crochet so here is my first corner I'm going to work three double crochet 
and then I'm just going to continue to double crochet all the way around for round 10 and round 10 is our last round so at the end you will join and then you can cut your yarn so I'm going to keep going here working my round 10 and I will meet you back okay so I'm finishing up round 10 so I was playing yarn chicken so this is what I've got left and we are we're going to make it work <laughs> So what you need to do is join with a slip stitch on top of that first chain three. So I'm just going to make it work with that little baby nub that I have. Yay, we did it. And then your block will be done. So of course what you'll want to do is you'll just need to block it out a little bit. Just um, pull on those corners and give that a, just stretch that out. Give that a little bit of block. And then if you have that little hole there if that bothers you what you can do is just tug on that tail there and it closes that up and then of course you'll need to weave in your ends and then you'll be all set so I hope you enjoyed this project and if you did please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching